So I'd like to share with you a tool that I just created to extract product data from a supplier page on a supplier website. And what it does is it will extract the current page and it will also automatically scroll to other pages, which is the equivalent of using the next button. And it will then get the products off of those other pages as well. And it will continue doing that for as long as it can. Um, I was able to get um, in this case about 40 over 40 pages at once uh, for a total of 1,590 products and this is from Zorro right now it works with Zorro.com and that is primarily what I'm using it for and uh, then to take this product data and to bring it into the supplier to Amazon matcher which you may or may not be uh, familiar with right if you've been using this tool then you know that normally what I do is I use the free Chrome extension to scrape the product data from a supplier website such as Zorro and I then locate the next button uh, down at the bottom and I normally use this process to extract the product data and then the start start crawling continues the process of then uh, going through the pages and getting more products and this is actually what I prefer to do however um, sometimes there appears to be an issue um, and I don't know if it's just on certain pages but there's some pages where for whatever reason it doesn't it just kind of it doesn't do it basically or it only does a certain number of pages as you can see here only went to page uh, five and that was it right um, now I mean of course in this case you could always kind of do it manually meaning go to each page and scrape each page but uh, for some people that might take more time than they like so this is another option where you're just going to drop the URL in the Google Sheet and it's going to just scrape um, products page after page and then you can just copy and paste the data over to the supplier Amazon matcher which is what I just did here and you can go ahead and automatically find the Amazon URLs for these Zorro products right and if you've seen if you haven't seen the system before I have videos where I show how to actually use the system completion uh, here I'm just really showing the data extraction option so I'm not really gonna go over the rest of this but this is what this does is it finds uh, Amazon URLs from supplier products so I'm going to actually just stop that process and what I'd like to do is just show you how this works which is actually quite simple so what I'll do is actually clear the product data that is in this currently and um, I'll actually delete the URL as well so basically you'll start out like this with a blank page whatever it last did is still going to be here so just ignore that for the moment then we'll find a page on Zorro I'm actually gonna go back to the home page and uh, what I'll do is I'll find a page for instance let's say um, it really doesn't matter material handle material handling ladders scaffolding and platforms okay and then I'll go to ladders so of course you need to be on a final category page meaning there are no other categories uh, under that category so you're on the actual page with products like this right and this would be the first page and I just want to point out before I do this notice there's a next button and it's telling you there are 174 pages and I'm going to take this URL copy it and bring it over to the system and just paste it right in there and then click extract product data and that's pretty much what you have to do but keep in mind um, it will extract a lot of pages before it stops right but it's not uh, I don't expect it to get through um, 174 pages at once uh, but what you can do is whatever page it leaves off at you can navigate to that page or choose that page here and you can start the process and it will continue uh, starting from that page so right now it is telling you extract in page number one and so that is the first step 
and you'll see that it's going to give you all the data of that product page pretty much in bulk as you see it just printed all that data out all at once so that's the first page now what it's going to do is start looking at page two which is which means what it actually is doing is automatically doing this selecting page two and you can see how the URL changes question mark page equals two and now it's extracting these and that's pretty much what it does and um, page two's products are going to show up next and then it'll start extracting page three now I don't believe it's as fast as the instant data scraper or Chrome extension but um, I think it's a pretty good pace for the amount of products that you're able to get and for the time that you can get the products so far it's gotten 72 products and if you're satisfied with the number and remember that whatever page number is here first of all that it's not finished with this page it's doing this page whatever page you see here this is the page that it's trying to do right now if this when this changes to four then you know that it finished three that's why it says extracting meaning right now it's extracting page number three when you get to uh, when it says four now you know three is done so if, let's say you want to cancel you can cancel right here let's say you're satisfied with the 112 products you can just cancel right there you have three pages it started to do four but you stopped it you can see it started to do this one all right but you stopped it okay so uh, this is already three pages of product data so what you would do now if you wanted to continue this is you would go ahead and navigate to page four so I'm going to go all the way to the bottom navigate to page four and these are the page four products now you're going to take this URL and copy it and simply paste it here that's telling the system to start on this page and then it will automatically iterate meaning move in, uh, automatically move to the next pages product pages uh, that need to be extracted right so now it's extracting page 4 again because you've started on page 4 and after it gets page 4 then it will move on to page 5 page 6 so on and so forth and um, there isn't really a particular maximum of how many pages it will do at once it's more of a matter of time how long it will execute but uh, I've been able to get you know over uh, as, as far remember there are many products uh, potentially on one page so um, if you even do 10 pages you've done a lot of products right so it doesn't take a lot of pages to get a lot of products right um, so you can easily get you know 1,000 products at a time as you wait for it to uh, go through these pages All right now you see it's doing page number five finish page number four and it will just continue the process from here now once um, now I could let this keep running and it will keep getting more and more uh, products that is really the, the idea here is that you can get a large number of products without actually downloading the CSV uh, from instant data scraper on Zorro without completely dependent on that you know you're still able to get your product data without depending on Chrome extension you're able to do it here in the school sheet and uh, that way if you're having any issues um, with the next button on a page where it's just not going past a certain page you have another option to get the data and again this works with Zorro.com I am testing to see how it works uh, on other sites and it can the same process can work um, on other sites but they have to be tested so as of the date of this video right now I can only tell you that this will work with Zorro I cannot say that it will work with any other site so this is really specifically to use with Zorro at the moment now what I'm going to do is actually just cancel the script although it could get more pages I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it uh, I was able to so far I got 237 products and I could get way more but for the sake of time what I will do is show you how to get this data 
into the uh, supplier Amazon Matcher, which is the main reason why we wanted this data in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this Amazon data and clear this product data. And uh, what I will do here is simply copy and paste the data. So I have the URLs. Right, I can start with that if I want. I don't really have to, but and then it's in a different order over here. So over here, URLs is here. So you go into URLs. And by the way, let me let me explain what I did here because there's a. Sh I mean, you can highlight down, but the quick thing to do is Control Shift, the sh uh, keyboard shortcut. Control Shift down. Um, Control Shift and down, and then you just right click copy. And when you get to here, you want to use paste special values. You don't want to just do paste because then it's going to paste the format, the color, all that. Paste special values only. And then you're going to go back at the brands, the titles, uh, the model numbers, and the price. You can actually do these three together because in um, the system, these three are together. Right? These three columns. So you can copy them together. So brand title model number, I'm going to highlight across this way and then control shift down on the keyboard, keyboard shortcut, and that makes it easier to copy all of that. Because remember, you may, you're going to have uh, thousands. Now, one thing that you have to be very careful when you do that is make sure you're at the top of the page. And now I'm not sure if I was at the top when I did this one. I'm going to actually do that one again. Make sure you're at the top of the page. You can use control home to get to the top of the page quickly. Take the URLs. Control shift down, copy. Come over here under URLs, pay special values, or right, if you want. Then I have brand. Uh, see, it went down, so now I need to go control home. Make sure I go back to the top. Okay, make sure you're at the top. Watch for the row numbers. Make sure you're at the top. It should be straight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'll take the brand, the title, and the model number. Just those three. Control shift down. And I'm going to uh, I'd use the keyboard, Control-C for copy, or you can use right-click copy. And then for brands, again, make sure you're at the top of the sheet here, because you want to make sure everything is lined up properly. Pay, spe pay special values only. And now you have those. And now for the prices, we're going to go back and get the prices from right here. Go to that. Make sure you're at the top again. First price, Control-Shift-Down. Copy those prices. Come over to the supplier, uh, Amazon Matcher, right click, pay special values. And that's how you can get these uh, in here. And then you can start the find all Amazon URLs process to start finding the Amazon URLs. Now, um, there is another option. I mean, if you don't want to copy and paste, you could. Uh, instead, one thing you can do um, is export these results right here to an export sheet um, and you could download it uh, you could use file download this to a CSV and then you could do the whole the usual import CSV but it's not an IDS it's not an instant data scraper CSV so you'll have to create uh, like a columns map for this just for these calls. So you'll have to use the file. You can still go to the IDS CSV and do the file import as usual. All right? And let me uh, clear that IDS CSV. So you, you can come here and file and import it, but then you'll have to set up a columns map. And you'd have to give it like a name that, because it, it doesn't have to be a, a website, by the way, supplier website. You don't have to have a website here. You can give the columns map a name. And it, it would be a very simple map because they're so similar. You would just be doing URL um, under URL, titles under titles, price under price, brand under brand, model number under model number. It would be a very simple columns map. And again, this is what I'm talking about right now. It's for people who've used the system and they already know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I would suggest you watch one of my videos where I'm demonstrating the system and I really take you through the whole process because there are things that you had, you wouldn't know unless you've been using the system already. So if you want to see this system and how to use it uh, in the first place, um, the typical way with the free Chrome extension 
getting the data that way, which is how I usually get the data, then you need to watch one of those videos. Maybe I have one in the description of the video. Uh, you need to watch one of those videos. But this is for uh, people who want another way to get data from Zorro and potentially from other sites. If there's that, if there's interest in this type of technology, data extraction from pages, if there's any, if I see the interest in it. Um, then I will try to do it with more websites to see what other sites I can do this with and it would be that I would just update it in the same tool so it would still be the same tool the difference will be because right now if you put um, a certain site in here let's say Walmart it's not gonna work with walmart.com right but right now this works with Zorro so um, I'll see what other sites I can do uh, or get it to work with uh, but again Today it's only going to work with Zorro, but if I'm able to add more, you'll get those uh, free updates uh, of the same tool working with more um, suppliers. So if you want to get a copy of this right now and start using it, it's a good idea to get it now while it's very basic and there's only one supplier. Because then with time, of course, it's going to grow. Um, and so right now is you know going to be the best time to get it. Uh, to get in on it and get your uh, all your future updates uh, as the product uh, grows or the tool grows rather so that is pretty much it in a nutshell um, I am Mr. Mark I'm not sure which channel this is on it might be on multiple channels but uh, whichever channel this is on uh, you can just subscribe to that channel or if you want to and if you want to leave a comment uh, question or suggestion on this tool below you can do that and also if you want to contact me directly uh, as well that is fine and yep that is pretty much it this is a uh, supplier page uh, product extractor that extracts products from the supplier pages uh, page of a supplier in this case Zorro.com and that is pretty much it look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around on the channel